So I want to say how grateful I am to be able to talk about the importance of the fig tree and what it's done in my own life and the ability to help me move beyond words to do justice. But in order to do that, I need to go back a little bit in time. I need to go back 16 years when I first came and started serving a congregation in the Lewiston Clarkston Valley. And as a parish priest, every so often this newspaper would show up and, and it would be mailed to us. I was like, what, what is this thing called? And I'd look at it and it was called the fig tree. And I really didn't know what it was. So what, what is this? And someone said, oh yeah, we get that. And we, we just shared it around. And I sat down and I started to read it and I thought, well, this is, this is Spokane. Like, why does it come here? But the more I read it, because it kept coming, and I kept sharing it with parishioners, the more I realized it was about connections. It was about helping us make connections with what was going on, with what, what the faith communities were doing in our communities and connecting one another to the ability so that we could, we could make a difference in the world. We could work together and, and transform this world. And, and then I got the directory and, and the, um, I realized at first when I got it, well, what is this? It's all about Spokane. And I realized it wasn't all about Spokane. But the important thing was it helped make connections again. So when I had somebody who was coming up to Spokane and looking for resources for mental health or addiction or um, drug counseling or, or any of the various connections, I could pull out the resource directory and say, here's what's available. That making connections was vital. And making connections is what happens as well at the legislative conference where people come together who have a passion who care about our communities and making a difference. And they experience the, the workshops, they hear the plenary talk, conversation, they make connections with each other. And in that building of connections, we become a larger community, faith communities of all sorts, who believe that we can actually be a better world. We can actually transform a hurting world into a world of love, a hurting world into a world of justice, that we can actually are called to live out our faith in a real and tangible way. When I think about beyond words, doing justice, I realize that without those connections, it wouldn't be possible for me. You see, if I tried to do justice on my own, it would very quickly become Gretchen's justice. If I tried to do all of this on my own, I'd very quickly believe that my way was the right way, that it was the only way that it was the best way for everybody. And if they would just listen to me, all would be well. And while sometimes in the back of my mind, I might think, well, people should just listen to me. I really know that we need the connections. We need the community being built so that every voice is heard. Every voice is valued. Every voice has, a, has an equal weight because without that, voices will be ignored. And when voices are ignored, we can't go beyond words to justice. You'll only stay at words because some words won't be heard. Voices, all voices need to be heard. We need the connections made. And that's what the fig tree early on, I realized, was doing. It was making connections between people of faith, people of vision, people of action, and calling all of us to move beyond words to do justice, to live fully into the vision of a transformed community, a community of love and hope and kindness and mercy and justice. That's the community I want. I can't do it by myself. And so when I think about what the fig tree has done for me, it's allowed me to see the bigger picture. It has stories of people doing the work on the ground. It helps me know who's doing the work and who I should connect to. It allows us to present what we're doing and it makes those connections. And then we come together in the legislative conference and we learn from each other and we make connections again. And we're sent out in many ways to do that work that continues throughout the year. And the resource directory is there for when I need to pick it up and help either myself or somebody I know find the resources they need. I'm very grateful for the fig tree and what it's done. And I'm very grateful for the legislative conference and the resource directory. And I think this is an amazing resource for our community because it shows us a vision of a different way, a way that is beyond words and actually into action and actually into doing the justice we so desperately need in this world. So thank you very much. And I hope all of you will find it as valuable as I have. Thank you.